Clarins Odenami scent has a special place in my heart. It's been a fragrance that has been in my family for years. So I'm here to review the new range, the new packaging today and talk you through all about it. So for 2023, we see a brand new shower format. The fragrance, the iconic fragrance is going to stay the same. And then we've got a beautiful body lotion, which is super smooth. And it just helps layer the fragrance overall to give you that fresh citrus scent for longer. I am going to be looking at the range, but if I'm being honest, Eau de Nami scent is all about the smell and the aroma. So we're going to focus on this for now. I'm going to tell you a little bit about what I've learned. So this fragrance, the aroma, not the bottle, is actually older than me. It's 36 years old, not too much older. Um, it was invented back in 1987 by Jacques Cortin Clarins, who kind of was fed up with the fact that there wasn't a treatment fragrance that could tone the skin and also you know, smell amazing and make you feel pampered. So this is an icon in itself. It's definitely the smell I remember from you know, heading to our central pharmacy. We've got the Clarins Gold Cell on there. This is what the whole upstairs smells like. So it's lovely to know that you can take it home and still experience that spa-like scent. I've actually got with me, I managed to steal the size that they use in the, Cla uh, the Clarins Salon, which you can see it's pretty big, but this is exactly the same perfume um, just as what they use in the salon. The words Eau de Nami San are actually translated to revitalizing water in English. And that's exactly what this does. As soon as I spray it, I can instantly smell the lemon, the sharp, clean, crisp notes. It's really uplifting. It reminds me of, you know, really old fashioned, um, expensive cologne. I feel like it, anyone can wear it. It's definitely worn by men, women, it's unisex. It's definitely an all rounder fragrance, but I feel like this works best in summer. Personally, because it's non photosynthesizing so it won't react in the sun. So if you've got somebody with really sensitive skin that reacts with fragrances, the Clarins Eau de Nami Sant will work. So will the whole of the treatment fragrances. In terms of using this to firm and tone the skin, I definitely wouldn't recommend it for the face as it's got alcohol in, which can dry your facial skin out. It's a lot more gentle, but there's no harm in just spraying a bit on your arms, on your decolletage. Um, you can work it in. It's not got like an oily texture at all. It's quite light, or you can mix it in with your body lotion for um, just an extra, extra boost of care. So I've mentioned a few times that this actually tones the skin and that's down to the lemon extract, which you can get, you can smell straight away, but it's also quite nice to know that it's working to firm your skin over time. I would recommend using this all over the body, especially in the pulse points behind your knees, behind your ears, and what is this called? In the inside of your arm to um, really give you that boost. Like I, for me, it's like a fragrance alarm clock. It just wakes me up whenever I'm feeling a bit tired. So the fragrance itself is actually 95% natural origin and the notes inside are lemon, patty grain, ginseng. It's also got this sort of woody patchouli base as well as it dries down. So it comes together to create this really beautiful spring, spring floral garden that smells like fresh lemons. Um, I can instantly think about like an Italian escape when I smell it. It's really uplifting on really clean cut almost like soap shavings, like I love it. Traditionally, when you look at a fragrance collection, to layer the fragrance, it's imperative to use the body wash and the body lotion because the fragrance not only lasts longer, it has something to cling to, um, and it just makes you feel a bit pampered, to be honest. You might hear that shower gels normally contain the top notes of a fragrance, and. Uh, body lotions normally contain the base notes. So together you've got this like pyramid of scent, which sort of lets itself develop over the day, which is really lovely. So I'm gonna smell this really quickly and see if it smells different or I can pick up the top notes more. So it's definitely more lemony this one. I love the shower mousse, which has now been unfortunately discontinued. Um, 
But yeah, this is definitely a lot fresher and I know this has got an aloe vera base as well. So it's nice and gentle. It's not too stripping of the skin. In terms of the body lotion. Ooh. I'd say this has got, funny enough, more of a body to it. So I can smell maybe more of the woods in this. So to be honest, after smelling them, I would say that this focuses, the shower gel focuses more on the lighter notes and they've got more of the deeper notes in the body lotion to help layer the fragrance for longer. If I could pick any fragrance family that I think this belongs to, without a doubt in my mind is citrus. It's really light, airy, clean, sharp and fresh. I've probably said those words 20,000 times, but literally that's what it is. Um, longevity, I'll be honest, it's fleeting. Um, I would say you probably get around three to four hours max out of this. And when you layer with both the shower gel and the body lotion, you probably get an extra hour and a half, depending on what you're doing. But it's definitely worth it if you want your scent to last all day. So if you are planning to use this to recreate your Clarins treatment at home, I would say opt for the, the cap, which has got a drip, almost a pore-like. And we'll bring in, I'll bring in the salon one to show you. Um, yeah, if you're planning to use it as more of a treatment, go for the pore, it's much easier to apply. But if you wanna use it as a fragrance, this makes it much easier just to spray all over. If you love the Odinami Sant Clarin shower mousse like me, it's discontinued, but they have got the um, energizing shower gel now. It's a completely different format, I'm not gonna lie. It's a gel, but even with no water, you can see how well it foams instantly. So it's not the same, but the smell, they almost smell like you're wearing a perfume, the body products themselves from the treatment fragrances, which is one of my favorite things. I do like to keep these for best. I don't know if anyone has a shower and body lotion for best, just me, but it's the thing. So I've used previously the O oh Extraordinaire body lotion from Clarins, really similar textures. It's a, I would say it feels more like an emulsion than a cream. It is a lotion, but it just melts into the skin, leaves a really nice glowy finish. And the scent is really impressive considering it's a body lotion. Um, the way it layers with the fragrance is seriously impressive. So for me, it's a no brainer to use this alongside. Something you wouldn't know from reading um, countless information as well is how this softens the skin is with hazelnut oil, um, which is an omega fatty acid. So that's what helps to keep things smooth. So when you're having your massage and they pop some on you or you recreate it at home, that's what gives you that silky smooth feeling from the, the fragrance. In terms of layering, I would highly recommend for you to make sure that you exfoliate in general your body because um, that way you can get rid of the dead skin cells and the moisturizer and the shower products will lather uh, better and the fragrance will give you better results. Start with the body wash, um, take your time, have a nice bath. I've tried this in the bath, just squeezing it like a, a bubble bath and it works really nicely. Um, wash all over with it, take your time, breathe in the smells because it really is uplifting. Follow with, I'm a bit, um, bit different. So Clarins say to follow with the body lotion all over on like damp skin and then follow with the fragrance. But I like to work with whatever texture is the thinner, apply that one first so it penetrates deeper. So I'd still wash with the shower gel, rinse it off, have damp skin, spray over a layer of this follow with the, the moisturizer and then finish with a final layer of this. That would be my tip to get the most out of the fragrance and see the better skincare results from the routine. Clarins Eau de Namisan, let's do a recap. Why would you love it? Who will love it? Number one, if you're a fan of the Aqua de Palma Colonia, maybe Guerlain Imperial Cologne, anything with that fresh, or even 4711 Cologne, the fresh lemon, clean cut, soap shaving kind of smell. Anyone who loves that will love this. And even if maybe they have those other fragrances, even just gifting maybe a shower gel or a lotion to accompany that 
is still a really nice way for them to enjoy Odenami Sam in different ways. It's really hard to dislike this fragrance, if I'm really honest, because it's so fresh and clean. You can appreciate that smell. If someone walked past you with this and was wearing it, you, you can't help but say, oh wow, they smell really clean, which then makes you think they, they look after themselves. I don't know why, if, if, that's, if that's just me. Um, so it almost creates that sort of really polished, sophisticated finish. So you'll really love this, I think, regardless. It's the easiest scent to love in the treatment collection. So highly recommend it.